beckon to you, Rabbi, from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So this is a bit of a strange story for me. It really is very, very odd. It's not what I was expecting. Oh, anyway, it's, it is what I was expecting, but not. I'm not feeling how I expected to feel around the story. Okay, so what, what am I talking about? Shooty Gatwa was front and centre in the uh, Coronation concert the other, the other day. What was this? Sunday, I'm recording this intro on, or oh, there's it, Tuesday, main night, right? So it was front and centre uh, in the Coronation con uh, uh, concert doing a uh, recital from Romeo and Juliet. Now, I've been reasonably confident that Shooting Up was going to be awesome as a doctor, right? And I, pure faith, right? But I am, I'm reasonably confident that he's going to be good as a doctor. Uh, uh, and I have been all the way, and... The reaction of the audiences watching this was just stunned. They thought it was the greatest thing ever. People were tweeting left, right, and said, Doctor Who is in such great hands, and it also has... Universe. I haven't heard any bad co comment about it, apart from mine. <laughs> See, they released a 20-second clip of it. It's only 20 seconds, right? So you can't really do much. It didn't seem very good to me. Like, you know, I'm not like a Shakespearean, you know, scholar. I understand it when I when I see it performed, right? You know, I've seen uh, uh, like Jonathan Price, you know, he emotes, uh, uh, you know, Anthony Hopkins. They 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 bring this uh, uh, somewhat foreign language to life for me, and it's uh, uh, you know, the fantastic, right? Fantastic. I saw this nothing. I was like, the accent's a bit weird. I don't really get what's going on, and the the camera's whizzing around. I thought the Juliet was. Kind of like a fat chick. I don't know. I just like, I thought Shooty could do better. Okay. I just, none of this, none of this really landed for me. So, uh, uh, that, that, by the way, I just realized that to say, I've got to say out because we're on social media. Uh, my problem wasn't that Shooty's black playing Roman. Who gives a shit? I mean, really, it's fine. For goodness sake, who gives a crap? Uh, uh, well, I guess lots of people do. But I personally don't, right? I personally don't. I think it's one of those roles. Uh, uh, Shakespeare is like you can reinterpret and reinterpret, keep the text the same, and reinterpret it and reinterpret it away, and and keep keep to the court, right? So that would not bother me, though. It just didn't land. I mean, again, the... the uh, uh, strange, uh, so she seemed like she was overacting to me. Uh, uh, fat chick Juliet, I don't want to get, I like it, she fat, I don't know, I couldn't really tell, right, I couldn't really tell, but anyway, uh, everybody there loved it, freaking loved it, so that was awesome, what's this mean, I don't know, I don't know, you know, <laughs> is it going to be good, I don't know, I guess we'll find out by Christmas, or we'll all be over by Christmas, uh, uh, can I ask you to like, share, and subscribe, so we're going to go over this, I did this on the live stream last night, I live stream every day, uh, uh, I'm all, you can catch me on YouTube, uh, Rumble, and Twitter, I live stream to those three platforms, and I put videos on Facebook, uh, look in the video notes, there's links for everything, if you want to be super nice, head over to Rumble, subscribe to me there, that's the channel I'm trying to build up, so much freaking better than for me than YouTube, so much better, also, in the video notes you'll find my sub stack now i'm going to give you a plug to sign up on it because i just finished last night i worked late to get, to get this done the first chapter is about an hour long of a deep fake colin baker reading millennial rights by craig hinton freaking awesome right freaking awesome this is the second one of these i've done uh, the first one was paul mcgann reading the first chapter of the dying days and that wasn't very good i that was the first one i was doing i didn't really know what i was doing this sounds great. This sounds like Colin Baker reading Millennial Rights, and I'm really into it. So uh, uh, it's in the video notes. Uh, uh, my subset, you 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 get that as a uh, as a podcast. I don't know. It goes out by subset. Also going to be on 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 the YouTubes and the Rumbles and the Twitters, all those sort of places. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are fantastic, baby. Now let me hand over to me from last night. So shoot has been a, doing a bit bit of Shakespeare. Shooting on Shakespeare. I I got like a twenty second clip of it. I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> but you, you can watch it with me. You you decide. Uh, uh, Doctor Who is in good hands. Shooting got with delights viewers of King at King Charles Coronation concert uh, as they share excitement at the actor appearing as uh, next time Lord appears as Shakespeare's Romeo. Okay. Uh, uh, where are we up to? Uh, Viewers of the King Charles of Long Car uh, uh, King Charles concert uh, were delighted with shooting Gatwa's performance as Shakespeare. Now, was this on TV? Like, I hope, or, or, or was that uh, uh, was you wanted to be there? They should have been on telly. 
I like I, I like the wrong command performances. Whatever happened to those? Right? Um I don't know. I think this is all, all good stuff. You know, like like just in terms of marketing, I think it's good stuff. Uh, uh thinking is so important. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're we're still working it. Uh where are we up to? Fine, so view of the King Charles Grant is, is uh, the actor thirty took to the stage with actress May Mac. I mean, look, I mean, are they making a point that they were like, you know, not go for your traditional Romeo and Juliet with this? I mean, shooting out where I see a lot more than May Mac, quite frankly. Like, uh, uh, honestly, I think shooting could do way better than May Mac. Uh, um, uh, in May last year, it was actually a year ago today. A year ago today, shooting was announced, and we know less today than we knew them. Uh, in May last year, uh, Shudi was announced as a replacement for, uh, for Jodie Whittaker uh, in the role of Doctor Who. The replacement, was some will say saviour, others, same thing. And viewers of the concert this weekend took to Twitter to express the delight, insisting the part uh, will be in good hands. Okay, that's the thing. Everybody said the same thing, right? So, how do we watch the full video? One second. Uh, it is. Here we go. Um, lips that they must use in prayer. Oh, then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do. They. Yeah, that doesn't sound like. Okay, here's the thing. I'm not a huge Shakespeare buff. I've been to Shakespeare, right? I've been to like Midsummer Night's Dream, the outdoor one in where where they out in. Regent's Park, right? I mean, yeah, I've been to the Hamlet. I've been, I've, I've liked Shakespeare, right? I'm not like a, a, a complete expert on the language, but good actors, I find, can their their input their their performance uh, uh, imbues the uh, uh, the language or vice versa, whatever. But I somehow understand it, and I'm mo and I'm moved by it. Right, uh, uh, and it feels natural, even though it's very unnatural. It, it, uh, best one I can think of here. Let me see if I can get, get this clip for you. There was, a, there was a really good version of Hamlet with Jude Law and Bill Murray set in present day, right? Um, uh, let me see if I get it. But this, I don't know, on this 20 second clip, it seemed a bit, uh, um, unintelligible and unmoving. Uh, um, Trailer. Yeah, so we get this. Doink. Uh, is this it? No. Hamlet trailer. What year was it? Say 2000, maybe? There you go. Wow. Ethan Hall wasn't Jude Law. <laughs> Let me, let me grab this. Oh, my, my, my dog's going to be going crazy all night, I just realised. But here, let's watch this again. Start again. I, it might be just be she's she shit. I can't tell. Hi, pilgrim. Lips that they must use in prayer. Oh, then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do they pray <laughs> grant thou lest faith turn to despair saints do not move they grant for prayer sake <laughs> i mean i don't know mate i don't know what to tell you it doesn't look that good to me i i, I i'm assuming he's going to be very good uh, um yeah let me see if we can find this Right, this is the uh, uh, Hamlet from 2000. The trailer. My father. I see my father. The king, your father. In my mind's eye. You know what I mean? Like, like, they're conveying meaning with it. I 
this, this music is horrible. But uh, Carl McLaughlin's great in this. The Queen, his mother, lives almost by his looks. Speak to her, Hamlet. Prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell. This music's awful. It's killing this trailer. Oh, Bill Murray is fantastic. But, like, this is a really great movie. And it's like, imagine you get a great movie and you put a... This is shit. If he says he loves you, you may believe it so far. Fear it, my dear sister. I, I, can't, I can't do this anymore. It's just killing me. Oh, let's go back to this. Let's watch this again. Lips that they must use and cry. Oh, then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do. They pray. <laughs> Grant thou, lest faith turn to despair. Saints do not move. They grant for prayer, saints. Yeah, I'll tell you, mate. Maybe hey, is this a different trailer for that? Uh, I might, might, might have had, I might have had a better trailer. No, same thing. Every time I see Keith and Sutherland uh, 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 advertise that 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 finance app, I go, "What a cunt!" I really do. Anyway, let's get back to this. Um. One person wrote, Shooting Cat is going to be the most amazing doctor. That was a hashtag coronation conference. Uh, well, somebody shared, I think we can be very confident that Shooting Cat will, will be amazing in Doctor Who. I, I am confident, but like none of this fills me with confidence. <laughs> right? No, like, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, Shooting is going to be an incredible Doctor Who. Anyway, we have a bit, bit of a, uh, an interview. Uh, where is it? There's Knights Romeo and Juliet, the newly crowned Doctor Who, Shuti Gatwa, and star of the RSC's record breaking hit, My Neighbor Totoro, May Mac. Welcome. Yeah, she's not very good. I mean, I'm sorry, mate. I just saw you. It was just like, I'm, I, it's, there's a 20 second clip. It'll easy to take out of context, but like, man, I've seen 20 seconds of, uh, uh, you know, great, great actors. And noticed, <laughs> right? You know, uh, um, I don't want to tell you. Uh, uh, I guess Daisy Ridley was busy. I mean, it, it was a Daisy Ridley, uh, um, type, yeah, type performance. To you both, and I really appreciate you coming in here because this is a big night. You've got a lot to do, but you've taken the time, <laughs> so thank you. Uh, May to you first of all. Performing at Windsor Castle, you know, a history dating back a thousand years, performing Shakespeare, extraordinary, in front of the newly crowned king. How are you feeling this evening? I mean, the thing that I love about Shakespeare is that he wrote plays for the groundlings, mm. which are the best seats in the house, and they are the cheapest seats in the house, and so it's really exciting to be able to share. Yeah, yeah he did write for, for, uh, for, for the masses. I just like, I don't know, your, your performance is very over the top. Shakespeare with such a huge audience, you know, for everyone. And that is what Shakespeare wanted. He wrote plays for everyone. And so that is that is our delight as mm. actors to and representing the Royal Shakespeare Company. Uh, to he, he, she's got a little bit of uh, uh, RP going on, right? She's like, for, she doesn't sound like one of us. Our, our love of Shakespeare with yes. so many people. I mean, you both have a huge amount of experience as stage actors, young as you are. But you are performing <laughs> tonight for the king, who is himself an absolute aficionado of Shakespeare. Yeah. This is a guy who knows his Shakespeare. How, do, how does that feel? Um, daunting. We better do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, how do you bring it to life? Because, you know, for a lot of people, there'll be plenty of people, I'm sure, in the audience yeah. who are delighted with the whole evening, but for Shakespeare, you know, they don't go and watch Shakespeare. How do you bring it to life? Um, well, I feel like... It yeah, I don't know. I, I, I want to say a little bit more, because, yeah. It lives. It lives already. The words live on the page, and it's... Yeah, unless you kill them. It's funny when you and, and why is he dressed as Andy Pandy? You think about Shakespeare. You think about how long ago it was and how alienating that language is. But it's not because he was just a man that was writing from his heart and writing. That's true. That's the thing. The language should be alienating, but it isn't. With themes that we all relate to to this day: love, war, passion. 
um, Romeo and Juliet is two teenagers at a party that fancy each other and their parents aren't happy about it. <laughs> that <laughs> which old is story. That old story, <laughs> which <laughs> everyone knows. So. And what about, you know, we, we got a little glimpse there of this collaboration. It's the first time that it's happened. It's such a great idea. Mm. And me, was it, was it complex, the collaboration? Was it difficult to get it right? No, mm. in a way it was really exciting opportunity. Who are they collaborating? Wait, we mean with each other. What? They're actors. They're supposed to work with each other. I don't understand. Who are they collaborating with? Uh, I'm confused. Opportunity for all these different art forms to collaborate. And ultimately, that's when art is most rich, when mm. we can collaborate. And so for all these different forms to come together for the first time, it feels creatively really exciting. OK, well, you both yeah. seem as... I have no idea what they're talking about, but it sounds in nice. Cool as cucumbers. <laughs> you are clearly the right people for the job. <laughs> we wish you all the luck in the world. It's going to be fascinating to see this unique collaboration. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank, Thank you. you. I do. I, I, was, it on t was it on TV? I hope it was. It, 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 if it wasn't, it was a really bad day. Again, they're apparently going to be, be, be on American Idol. So uh, uh, that's the sort of thing I like. Again, I, I just imagine myself as their publicist. I'm going, yeah, yeah, I'll be up for that. Absolutely, sir. Um, Roman Juno, I've been a fan of. That's also true. Right, that's why I, I found Shakespeare in Love much more compelling than Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> that's 100% true. Right, I really did find it much more compelling than Romeo and Juliet. So, uh, uh, there we go. Let's, let's see what more people have to say. And then we'll start looking at Guardians Garden of the Galaxy. Did not do well. Man did not do well. Whoa. Lowest opening weekend, they said, of any the last 20 years or something for a summer movie. I mean, it is good. I guess it's May already. Yeah. Fair. And I don't think that's me. I think that's the drag factor of Marvel more than anything else. Anyway, let's see what else they have to say. Um, they look great in the pictures, right? It's just, uh, you know, in uh, uh, <laughs> when, I, when I saw them acting, <laughs> it didn't look that good. Somebody else tweeted, I've just watched Shooting Gat, we're doing a uh, spot of uh, Shakespeare, and I know he's going to be a brilliant Doctor Who. I mean, really? Can we see some? Uh, uh, so Shooting Gat, can certainly deliver blank verse. With a plot, with a plot. Well, again, we just didn't see any in the twenty seconds that we saw. I get. I mean, all these people must be telling the truth, right? Everybody, everybody seen him and says he's fantastic. But like, I keep seeing him and he's shit. I, I don't want to tell him. And like, what? What is with his clothes? They look. Did he? He looks like Sylvester McCoy just regenerated. You know. Uh, uh, hello, everybody. There we go. We'll give you a bit of a wave. Um, a broader nature theme section of the concert, which also included a rendition of 1980s hit, the classical songwriter Alexis French and London-based songwriter Zach Abel, alongside House Orchestra and Choir. Bollywood star Sonam Kampoor also delivered a, a spoken word performance. Wow, okay. My name's Sheila Beck and the rabbi from another planet! Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. <laughs>